My name is Michael Strongside Cavanaugh, and I work for 343 Industries, helping create Halo 5. So, first things first, because you didn't have a, a traditional way into 343 Industries. Can you just tell us a bit about your background and how you got into 343? Yeah, so I got into working for 343. Uh, it was actually a long, long process, uh, a lot longer than normal for others. Uh, I spent about the past 12 years of my life playing Halo uh, at a top, high competitive level. I've been around since Halo 1. Uh, made a big name for myself in Halo 2 and competed on uh, all the way until Halo 4. Uh, it was until uh, about four months, five months ago, uh, I was contacted by a few of the guys at 343, uh, made some close relationships with them, and they had wanted to start this thing called the Pro Team. And basically what they would do is take these competitive players and have these competitive players help design and help pretty much in every aspect of the game. Uh, whether it's maps, weapons, uh, fine-tuning to a Spartan ability, uh, movement, literally every little detail. Um, and I thought, you know what, why not? I've, I've been a part of Halo my entire life, and if there's anything I want to do, it's help carve a better future for Halo. And working on Halo 5, I've got to do that and really make a big impact, not just only on the competitive scene, but just the multiplayer experience. So. Uh, now I work with three other guys. Like I said, we're called the Pro Team, and we work uh, day and night. We're on the uh, the hours are a little bit different from a pro gamers, uh, but once you slowly transition over to it, it's uh, it's a lot of fun, and you get to really see how a game is created. Because when you're you're playing the games, uh, you may think, oh, why why could this not be like this? Uh, this would make it easier, or why could this not be like this? And, you really see one little change uh, to a weapon could take could take weeks, maybe even a month, just because it's got to go through so many different teams to make sure it's a pass and uh, will work well. Not only well well with the multiplayer, but the campaign and uh, other other game modes and features within the game. So when you started playing Halo competitively, that was Halo 1, there really wasn't a console esports scene. So how did you get into that and how did you start to play competitively? So I found out uh, about some competitive leagues back then and I started, uh, well, kind of saving money. My parents pretty much paid for the first few trips. Uh, but I used to watch these tournaments online just through a stream. Uh, it was nothing like too huge or like too too popular, I guess, back when they first started. Uh, but little by little, they started to grow, and I ended up getting a chance to go to a tournament, placed second, made a little bit of money, uh, and kept going back. And I ended up winning the tournament and realized, you know, maybe I could make a living out of this. And it's, it wasn't just about winning the tournaments. It was about creating an, an image and a name for yourself. It, it's almost like a, a mini celebrity type of type of thing happening. It's nowhere near on a level of a movie star or anything like that or a professional basketball player. Uh, but I think now it's it's growing into that and I think even some professional competitive uh, video game players are more popular than professional athletes within soccer, football, basketball and a lot of other sports out there. So from the time when I've st I started competing to now, it's been a huge change and it's awesome to see where, where we're going from here. So if you had a, a young guy and he thought he was the bee's knees at Halo, how would you recommend he get into the pro sports kind of arena? So getting into the professional gaming uh, scene is pretty tough because you have these core group of guys, uh, or I should say players, these core group of players that uh, have learned so much about a game, whether it be Halo, uh, or any other competitive game out there with a league where you can make a lot of money. These top players have put in endless amounts of hours to be the best. So they have an edge upon everyone else. And if you're just a single guy, if you're just one guy, and you want to make it into the scene, you really have to make connections because you're not going to get on the top team unless you know somebody because uh, these guys are going to be like, oh, we don't know who this is. He says he's good, but we've never seen him play at a tournament. And, really assembling a team of four guys and having them all commit 
a lot of time to practice because you're not just going to get good from just playing. You, you get on and you treat it like a job. You practice, go over strategies, uh, watch films of not just your team playing, but other teams playing. Uh, so I guess the advice I would give is to keep practicing, but try to reach out to these players or try to, to play in tournaments, maybe not the big events, uh, play in the smaller tourna tournaments where these big players may not be going. And you can slowly start to accumulate like a little fan base and start to get known uh, make a name for yourself that way and then slowly these other top players are gonna notice and if they if they have a teammate who's like wants to quit maybe is losing interest or something uh, that would be your opportunity and if you're if you're close with them if uh, if they have heard of you or know of you and you have a good track record then they're gonna pick you up I guess you could compare it to almost like a, a college basketball and NBA basketball Players are going to get picked up if they have a good track record from college. Uh, if, they're, if they're great players, they're willing to work with, with other players. And you really have to keep your composure and not get too cocky. Because these other top guys, they know so much and you need to learn from them. Okay, as a, an individual player then, what can you do on your own uh, aside from these, these tournaments to get noticed by the, the big teams like TCM and Vibe and Co.? I would say maybe starting up like a YouTube channel, maybe posting videos of your gameplay uh, if you do beat a top team, um, kind of make that a little bit notable, uh, but you're gonna have to do it multiple, multiple times. Uh, these individual players, they do have it tough. It's, I mean, it's like any other sport. It's part luck, part right timing, and, and part skill. You've gotta be at the right place at the right time to have that opportunity uh, present itself. When Once that door opens, you, you walk right in immediately, and, don't let that pass by. So if you could tell past you one bit of advice, what would that be? I think I, I stumbled upon uh, the, the right experience, I guess. Uh, so for myself, I don't know if I would change anything because I think I got the right path. But for other players, uh, what I did was I just worked really hard. I made a name for myself uh, in free-for-all and 1v1s. Uh, I played in 1v1 tournaments in Halo. I was able to play against the best players in the world and ended up beating one of them. And that's when I got noticed. So I made my name through an individual game or the individual aspect of Halo and got picked up by, by the, one of the top teams because they wanted to give me a shot. Uh, so I guess if your game does have an individual uh, aspect to it, if there's tournaments for individual play, make make that effort to be the best individual player. And these other teams are gonna notice you. And uh, like I said, getting to know people, that was, I was very friendly, um, made a lot of friends with all, all the players. Uh, I, I didn't make it a point to, to just be friends with like the top two teams or anything. I, I wanted to know everybody, I really enjoyed it. Uh, you gotta have fun. You can't take yourself too seriously. You gotta enjoy it, but just get to know everybody. Uh, get to know everybody, keep working hard, and don't give up. If you really want it, you'll find a way uh, to make it to one of the top teams.